Good morning and happy Teen Thursday. I'm Jen from Polk County Public Libraries and this week's teen project is a STEM activity and we are going to make cell phone stands. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know this is the last Thursday in May. We're going to be taking a little break um, from our take and make bags and our videos while we get ready for the summer learning program. So the summer learning program will start on June 14th, um, that week after school is out for Polk County Public Schools. And every Monday, we are going to have a teen mug cooking video. And starting June 14th, you can pick up a mug and a paint pen to make your mug at the library. And then stay tuned for eight videos throughout the summer to make some delicious snacks in a mug. And then we will continue with Teen Thursdays, but we will have a kit every single week of summer learning. So we will have 10 kits this summer, um, starting that would be Thursday, June 17th. So we're taking a little two week break. Uh, so Teen Thursday will resume three weeks from today. But this week you can pick up your take and make bag to make a cell phone stand. And this is one of our activities that is more of an experiment. We're gonna give you some supplies and you're gonna use your engineering skills to see what you can do with them. Uh, so we gave you in the bag are six popsicle sticks, six paper clips, four rubber bands, um, two binder clips, and two pipe cleaners. So your job, your experiment, is to take these materials and make the best cell phone stand that you can for your phone. Um, I'll tell you a few of the mistakes that I made. Uh, so this is the one that I just designed. You will need, um, a hot glue gun would probably work best, but you will need some glue or tape to uh, stick all of your materials together. That is not included in the kit. Uh, this is the cell phone stand I made. Here are the things I would not recommend. So I did break two of the popsicle sticks that just makes it kind of sharp and stabby. Mm, would not recommend that. Uh, I still have two sticks left over. I didn't need to break them. I could have just used whole sticks. So would not recommend breaking the popsicle sticks. Also these metal uh, paper clips break really easily. So I broke two of them. No. Uh, so when, if you are bending them as part of your cell phone stand, make sure just not to bend them too far or they will snap. Um, so yeah, those are my recommendations. This is the one I made. Um, my phone is currently recording this video, so I can't show you how it sits in here. Um, but it does sit in here. It lays on the paper clips and then the binder clips hold uh, the front of it together. and. I made it so that my phone sits horizontally, which is how I like to watch TV on my phone. So you can make one that sits horizontally. Um, the problem I did have with mine is that the phone doesn't really stay unless you put the binder clips up and then your screen is kind of blocked. So you might be able to design a stand uh, that can still hold the phone without blocking the screen. So see if you can do that. You could also design a stand for your phone to fit vertically, so standing up. If you just want to use it as a clock or an alarm, or if you're reading a book or anything you want to do with your phone horizontally. Um, so good luck. Design the best cell phone stand. Um, and when you are finished, please take a photo and send it to me and we will enter you to win a gift card at the end of this month. Have fun. 